super sexy. I feel like if you've been married for 20 years in Beverly Hills, it's like being married for 100 years somewhere else because it's so unheard of. So I'm very proud of that. I am. You look amazing. You like this? Yeah. Should I wear this every day? <laughs> Should I pick up at school like this, Portia? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, honey? Fishnets or no fishnets? Um, that's, the fi that's for the legs? <laughs> yes. Hi, honey. What's up? I love you. That's my rack of extra clothes. It keeps falling over. Well, it shouldn't be in here. Well, honey, I don't know where to put my extra clothes. It doesn't fit in the closet. Well, then I have get it. rid of it. Let me take it into my closet. You let go, because it's well, tangling. Well, it's falling. Well, I'm going to take it in here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> honey, it's not funny. What? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my god. Wait, honey. Oh, my god. <laughs> Look what you made me do. What's going on? I'm just chilling. I'm going over to Lisa's. You are? Yeah, I'm going to go over there and talk to her for a little while. What about? Well, in Vegas. She said things, and I said things. Well, what about all the things she said about me? You didn't think I, I know, know. I know, I know, I know. We already know that. But my point is, all right, but that's just because not something's relevant. No. It is relevant. We talk about it every single time we're together, though. You know, she was upset with me that I didn't defend her. And I just feel like it's time for me to sit down with her and get it all out. And how are you, you feeling know? right now to go over there? Are you, you know right? me, I hate this stuff. I have a, a pit in my stomach. I get, I get like, I don't know. I get such anxiety, you know how right. I am. And yeah, whenever I have a friend that I care about that I feel like is upset or, you know, having an argument, I it's feel harder. physically ill. Anytime I see, you know, my nieces or my family or me, you know, flashed across, you know, the TV or something, my first thought is, oh my God, what are they gonna say? Is it a lie? Is it true? Because we're like, what we, we know what we have. Then you glue together because you're like, then you fly together. That's the two of you against the best. We know what we have. Let me tell you something, any of these f***ing girls can do a lie detector test with me tomorrow, and I, that, and uh, no problem. But you would never have to do that because your wife believes you, so it's, no. it's silly even. I'm so proud of Mauricio. The agency's just blown up. We had to move offices. He's opening everywhere. He's now number one broker in California and number, I think, six in the nation. I hate that I didn't go to college. So that's why it's so important for me that my kids go. I kind of know now why my mom didn't push me. I'm glad you guys have a woman president, though. That's cool. Me too. Especially having four daughters. I'm all about empowering women. We're walking to the shade, honey. Honey, don't get your daughter in trouble already. Dad! Hey, I'm in college. I'm allowed to be a little annoying. <laughs> You're not in college, I am. Alexia, have you told your mom how you're doing here? Are you enjoying working here? Mm -hmm. Alexia is going to school in Boston. While she's here this summer, Alexia has an internship at the agency. So every day, she's with Mauricio and her sister, Farah. It's a family affair. 11 offices in, one, in 12 months. The more work that he does now, the less work he does later. True, true. We talked about that. It's four or five more years of sacrifices. Yeah, well, as long as we get our family time and balance, then it's okay. Yep. I think we have great balance. I do too. Alexia. What? He's my husband. Quit saying we have balance. You don't know. For your perspective, whenever you're home, it's like, oh, okay, dad's coming home. But like, That's you're not, and you're in Boston. It's That's just true. hard finding the balance. I'm doing a lot of stuff, he's doing this. It's like, you know, it's hard. You know what happens with you is when you get busy, you like to project it on me, and then you like to make me the busy one. That's so true. Well, oh, guess what? I'm so excited. We can film in LA, because that was a big part of it. Oh, that's huge. Huge. Because that's like another thing I'd have to leave town for to do, and I don't want to have to keep being apart. Here's the difference between a man and a woman. I take care of the kids and you first, and then that stuff comes down here. We're in 100% agreement with that, which is why you have to be supportive of me being busy. I know. It's challenging now that Mauricio and I are both so busy. She just loves you too much. Told you. I love her too much, too. I have four children, my scripted show. I just opened a sixth store, but we know that our marriage and our family are the priority, so. We're doing the best we can. So. That was a good one. Very good, honey. 
Tonight is the big event for the opening of the agency in the Punta Mita. Did I give you one of these yet? No, I'm so excited. So here's a little show with all your goodies. It's a really big deal because it is the second real estate company my husband is opening in Mexico, which is his country. My husband's Mexican, so he's proud right now, and I don't blame him. I'm proud of him. I haven't seen Eileen yet. Has she come out? She's here. Yeah, I heard she's here, but I haven't seen her. She's here, but I haven't seen her. Hi. Hey. This is amazing. This is so amazing. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank Seriously, for coming. I appreciate the support. Thank you. I wish you, for coming. I wish you the best of luck tonight, buddy. Salud. 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 Yeah. Let me stop you for one second. Welcome. I uh, just want to say a quick little word. I'm so passionate at opening up the agency and bringing people back to Punta Mita because of the energy, the love, the need for passion, and the need for life, and the and enjoyment of life that everybody in Punta Mita has. And of course, I want to thank my wife that without her, I would do nothing. I mean, uh... <laughs> When I met Mauricio, he was a kid. And now he's a man, and he's running this company, and he's just accomplished so much. He's worked really hard, and it's paid off. And I could not be more proud. Talk to me, what's happening? Oh, I picked up some of this furniture. I went furniture shopping with Faye today. Yeah, for the house here? Yes, I saw some gorgeous, like, more modern looking chandeliers for here. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we stay. Since I am renovating my house, my kids are gonna start moving out one by one with all this hammering. I know. I wanted a little more of a modern, fresh feel. So I saw a listing on the agency website. So I said to my husband, I want to go see this house just to look at their floors. That's all I wanted to do. And Mauricio and I both went together and went, oh my gosh. I didn't even thought that I was going to even be having a discussion about moving. I mean, after everything that we've been doing and planning and all the craziness. But I'm not sure I want to move. i got to be honest with you. It's a real tough one for me. Let's go through like pros and cons of both. For me, this house is so me, it's so comfortable. It's, I feel safe. happy, I feel safe. I'm about to remodel it to like perfection, yeah. to Here's, exactly what you want. Yeah, the con is living through that. That's, a, but that's not a big deal, that passes. They said that could be four months, that means six months for sure. We have to leave for a long time. And then a part of me kind of thinks, why are we doing all that when this other home has everything we want anyway? Right. I have a confession. What? I drive by it every day. <laughs> I'm always so set in my ways. The fact that I'm even open to moving to a new home feels like, okay, I'm making a little change about myself. I'm gonna look at this like an adventure. Oh my God. Oh God, I need this to be over. Oh my God. And I really felt like maybe my mom and my dad, their hands were on my back at that point. Oh. You made it. You made it. See? Oh my God. That definitely was the highlight of the ride for me. When I finally made it to the top, it was like elation. There's nobody behind us. It was a great bonding moment. I loved it. The experience of doing that with my wife was just so great. And for me, you know, being an athlete, to have a romantic experience together with an athletic event was just one of the best trips of my life. Riders are getting a bit in. 2008, Grand As a mom, it's not like we go, oh, okay, you're 18, my job's done. It's not like that. Now she's going to college, I have a different job with her, making sure she feels safe and comfortable and secure. My job's not done. I think this is great. You have a gorgeous window. That's just a regular window. <laughs> so exciting. The bathroom lighting is really scary, I'm not gonna lie. Well, you have your mirror that you had to have, so oh, don't yeah. worry about it. And now cleaning, scrub your own toilets and all that. Why do you have to clean the toilet? Really? It flushes itself. <laughs> what? You have to put like I know you toilet clean cleaner and then like scrub in the shower too. Is there a special brush? Oh no! Yeah, you know what I use at home? Your toothbrush. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Your toilet's clean all the time. Trust me. Okay, what about you? My least favorite thing about Kyle is just she's just um she's stubborn. Oh yeah, I can see that. 
My favorite part about Kyle is her sense of humor. She makes me laugh. She's an incredible mother. She's a carer. She's a giver. She's just amazing. Thanks for watching. Click right here to subscribe to the Bravo channel. And click here to watch more videos from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills.